Hey guys, today I am here to help you in solving in Banasi series. Before discussing about N Banasi series, let's have a quick recap about Fibonacci series. So, Fibonacci series contains numbers where a number is formed by adding its previous two numbers of the series. So, let's take an example. In order to get the first seven values of the Fibonacci series, we'll initialize the first term to zero and the second term to one. These are the first seven Fibonacci series numbers. The first term here is initialized to 0 and the second term will be initialized to 1 and the third term is formed by adding previous two terms and the fourth term is formed by adding its previous two terms and the fifth term will be formed by adding these two terms and this process will repeat so let's know how to solve Fibonacci series similarly like in Fibonacci series where we have initialized the first element to 0 and second element to 1 here we'll in, we will initialize the first two elements to 0 and the third element to 1 the first seven numbers in this series are displayed over here. So the first term will be initialized to 0 and the second term will be initialized to 0 and the third term will be initialized to 1. And the fourth term in the sequence will be obtained by adding these three terms. And the fourth term and the next term will be obtained by adding these three terms and the next term can be obtained by adding these three terms and the process repeats so from these two examples we can clearly say that in any n monosy series the first n minus one elements will be initialized to zeros and the nth element will be initialized to 1. In Fibonacci series, the n n minus 1th element that is the first element will be initialized to 0 and the second element will be initialized to 1. In Fibonacci series, the n minus 1 elements that is first two elements because here Tribonasi. So we have to initialize the first two elements to zeros and the third element to one. So with this basic idea, let's move forward and code. So in order to code, open any of your favorite browser if you don't have any IDE to compile. So open any browser and type and search for any online compiler. Here we'll code in Python language which can be easily understood. So first take the n value that is let's say next take m value which represents the number of terms you want in the c series next 
take a empty list in C, C++ or Java you can take an array next as we have as we know that we have to initialize the first n minus 1 terms to zeros so run a for loop append n minus 1 zeros next we have to initialize the nth term to 1 so append the next term as 1 in order to generate the next term of the sequence you need the sum of these terms so store the sum of these terms in a variable say sum1 or you can directly store sum1 initialize sum1 as 1 because anyhow there only one one is present in the series till now next take a variable k and initialize it to 0 to keep track of the number which we will eliminate in order to form the next number next run a for loop for as we have already generated the n terms in the series so we'll start from n and go up till m in order to generate m terms of the sequence next append the sum which we have already obtained and stored it in the variable sum1 next we have to update the sum1 because in order to generate the next element of the sequence we need to remove the starting element of this sequence and add the number which is present before the next number next increment the k value here k value stores the term which we don't want in the sum next we are almost done with our code now we can print the sequence run it give any n value like if you want to generate a Fibonacci series give it as 2 if you want to create a Trebonacci series give it as 3 so first we'll look at Fibonacci series so give the input as 2 next how give the number of terms you want in the se sequence so if we want to generate the first seven terms in the fibonacci series then give seven 
and these will be the first seven terms in the Fibonacci series. Now let's run it for Fibonacci series. And here we'll generate the first eight terms. See, we can clearly see that the first two elements in the sequence will be zeros obviously and the third term will be one and the fourth term will be obtained by adding its previous two terms previous three terms sorry and the next term will be obtained by adding the sum by taking the sum of its previous three terms that is 0 1 1 results in 2 and 4 can be obtained by adding the previous three terms that is 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 4 and 7 can be obtained by 4 plus 2 plus 1 7 and 13 can be obtained by 7 4 and 2 in this way you can form any sequence any Enbonossi series sequence if you take input as 4 and first 8 terms then these, this will be the sequence the first three terms will be zeros and the fourth term will be one the next term can be obtained by the sum of previous four terms two can be obtained by adding these four terms that is zero zero one one four can be obtained by adding zero one one two and eight can be obtained by adding one one two four if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section.